Hello everyone, we will continue the topic lock object and in the previous video, we started understanding everything in that debugging mode and we used shared mode and we discussed that shared mode will not fulfill our requirement. So compulsory, we need to go for write or we need to go for enhanced write. Both will fulfill our requirement. Anyways, we will cover the difference later. What is the difference between both of them? But as of now, we just understand. Now, I will go to change mode of the program. Now, rather than shared, I will go for write lock. You can go for enhanced write lock also because both will fulfill our requirement. Enhanced write mode. I will activate the program. Now I will go to display mode so that nothing will be in the change mode. I will put a breakpoint. And parallelly, I will show you SM12 now. Now, if I will go to SM12, there is nothing in the SM12 for R meta. Now I am running the program. I will give order number one and I will go for payment mode, suppose N. R meta means my user ID. I want to change the payment mode of order number one. Now I will go to desktop three and in the debugging. Now, order number one, we are passing to this NQ function module. What is the purpose of NQ? It is used for locking. So I am locking the order number one. If you see, Sai Sabarsi is zero because I am the first user who is locking the order number one. If I will show you SM12, I'm not R Mehta one, I will show you R Mehta. Yes, I will refresh. You can see now the mode is E. -E. This is the table. This is the order number one. And this is my login ID. And I logged at this particular time. Now, at the same time, another user is also trying to change the order number one. Now, I will go for R Meta 1. This is R Meta 1. This is different user. You can check from here itself. If I will click, this is R Meta 1. Same pro program. I will put a breakpoint. Now, if I will go for SM12 for this particular user, R Mehta 1 mean different user, nothing is logged as of now. There is no log entry for different user. Now, I am running the program. Now, I am running through different user. Now, different user also want to change the payment mode, but different user is passing D. Now see, I stopped in the debugging mode here. It means I'm changing, I'm changing. For the best understanding, I stopped so that you can understand yourself. So I am just changing the, or I logged the order number one. At the same time, another user is also changing the same data at the same time. I will go to execute. Now, it is not a shared log. If it is a shared log, other user can read the data, yes. But I put, I logged order number one using which mode? Right mode. So other user cannot even read this order number one. So if I will go for this order number one and I will do F6, have you seen what is the value of Sai Sabarsi? Sai Sabarsi is 1, 1. What is the meaning of 1? 
वन मीन्स इट इज लॉक्ड फॉर लॉक नाउ साई सब आर सी इज अदर देन जीरो एंड दिस इफ कंडीशन इज ट्रू Now, if I will do F six, F six means line by line execution. So this if condition is true, and this particular message will trigger error message. Now, if I will come out, if you want to come out from debugging, do this F eight. And have you seen the other user is unable to do anything because the order number is already locked. Yes. different user try to same the try to change the same data at the same time but at a time only one user can change see i still logged order number 1 that's why i stopped in the debugging mode so that i can show the various things now i am working on order number 1 now there is another there is another user r mehta 1 okay now suppose this user is working on different data now this user is passing order number 2 and passing the payment mode suppose n now this user is working on different data itself multiple user trying to change the same data at the same time then locking comes into picture if another user is trying to change the order mode order number 2 now we are passing order number 2 to this nq function module so different user another user is working on order number 2 is it is this r mehta 1 is the first user who is working on order number 2 yes so this user will not get any error now if i will do f6 you can see sai sub r c is 0 0 now r mehta 1 logged this order number 2 now if another user is going for the change of this order number 2 then that user will get the error now if i will show you sm12 of r mehta 1 if i will go for r mehta 1 this is r mehta 1 so this another user logged order number 2 successfully because it is working on different data now because locking always comes into picture when multiple user trying to change the same data at the same time then at a time only one user can change the data now if i will show you the our output so this is i logged order number 1 so sai sub r c is 0 yes so system will go to which part else part i did f6 and have you seen i am in else part so we are updating that table we are setting payment mode to what n we are setting the payment mode to n for which particular order number for order number 1 now i will this update statement will execute are we able to update successfully yes have you seen sai sub r c is 0 yes sai sub r c is 0 so it will simply simply print the success message now after the success message now we are going for dq because we need to unlock also just see as of now if i will show you sm12 for r mehta this is still logged still logged once i will go for dq now you can see anyways program also ended when program ends things will automatically unlock and we call dq also whenever i will go for search have you seen the entry is not there so now if i will show you database table is it updated in the database table we will see in the database table
will go to SC11. We'll go to order header table. Now we will go for order number one. And for the order number one, what we changed, we changed the payment mode to N and it is reflected into database. Yes. So what is the summary of the video? In this video, we change the mode to N. We change the mode to E, sorry. We change the mode to E, E means it is right lock or exclusive lock, yes. So whenever you are going for right lock, yes, I'm the first user, I got size sub RC0. Other users cannot read, other users cannot share. So they got the size sub RC other than zero. Then we understood if other user is going for different data. So other user went for order number two. Then at that time, other user will not get the error because that user is the first user who is working on order number two. So after that, we simply executed the logic for update. And yes, payment mode is successfully updated in the table. We will continue with more concepts in the next video. So that's it in this video. Thank you.